uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got a little treat from Compost here. I'm not gonna show the top here because I got my, I got my, uh, I got my little you know, personal address on there. But did receive, did receive a package here from Compost. I'm not sure if it's related to Summoners or Sky Arena, Summoners or Chronicles, or if it's a part of the Guardians Club. I think it might be a part of the Guardians Club. Um, but either, either way, if it isn't, you guys gotta. You guys got to jump on that. Every single year, they offer the opportunity for you guys to jump on part of the Guardian Club. Um, as long as you're an active player, I believe you finish uh, in the high conquer ranks, then you don't have to be a, a G3 player to be in the Guardian Club. As long as you're very active in the game, ball game consistently, and uh, have obtained a decent rank here, you can do it. Ooh! Oh yeah, I was ho I was hoping I get this. I was hoping I get this. Yeah, 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 buddy. That's what I'm talking about. I am very excited for this, guys. Very excited. You see that? There it is, right there. It's gonna get loud. Okay, rest in peace, headphone users. Gonna use my strong hand. Okay. Let's take a look at the latest and greatest that Comptos is going to be offering for us at the Comptos store. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the new decks for the Summoner's War slash Witcher's collaboration game, Gwent. We have the three decks here, Durand, Lycana, and Reyna. Again, if you guys have checked the game out already, it's available to you right now in the game. I even show it to you, okay? As I slam my stuff over here. You can go on over in the game, play the Gwent. You can play it here versus the opponent, versus the computer. But it looks like Comptuous has made this available for us to pick it up and play with our friends in real time. So, super fun. I'm really excited. Curious to see how this one will unfold versus a real player, versus a computer. But I will say this, Comptuous, hey, hey, hey. You better put this in the game. Like I want this in the game. I want to be able to. I want to be able to play somebody in RTA. You know, I'll be. If I see a G3 player want to play RTA, I say, you know what? Forget your RTA. Let's go win. I want to have a chance. Okay. I want to see this thing expand. I think there's a chance for it to expand here. So, anyways, right, let's take a look at the deck. Now I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna open all three here uh, eventually, but I do want to open at least one for you. And I personally want to open my favorite deck, uh, which is gonna be Lycana. I, I, from what I've gathered in the first six weeks of the, of the cards that they've provided, I enjoy the Lycana deck, uh, because it's a range based tech. But the cool thing about Lycana is it has the versatility of using, uh, melee and range, even though it's more focused heavily on range. Um, some of the units that you collect as you level up in the game, um, are units that allow you to be played in the melee or the range spot. So, if you're one of those people out there that, you know, want to, you know, bring in units that provide double attack power for a specific spot in either melee or range, um, you have the option to do that with um, specific units like Colleen in the support lineup. You have the option to do that with a leader skill for Lakana, and you also have the option to do that with a specific uh, card in the game that allows you to give it a double. So you can, you have multiple ways of getting double attack power, which of course, as you guys know, is super important, and I feel like. Um, Lycana's uh, versatility um, when it comes to the units that they provided, the cards they provided, is really, really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and show this here real quick. Too bad, too bad I can't, uh, I can't do this as quick as everybody else can, but I am, I am not the, I am not the island girl in 11, like, professional, you know, trading card game enthusiast here that can show, but this is, Pretty clean, pretty smooth. I like it. it Got a little bit of gloss to it. Um, definitely, like I said, definitely, definitely, like literally uh, the, the same cards in the game. So Tian Lang, actually Tian Lang, really, really good unit. This is what I was talking about. Tian Lang, super high attack power, can go in melee or range. So this is really, really good. Um, Roger, I haven't been playing around with that one. Let's see. Got a lot of cars here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through them. Here's the uh, here's that one that I was talking about. Colleen, if you guys are playing right now in the game, 
Colleen, very important to have in your arsenal. Super low attack power, but if you're one of those people out there that play like Kana and mix in units that can go melee or range, and you're forced to go melee because maybe they got a they got a card that allows you that that takes away your damage in uh, range. This is a great great unit to have here to double up your attack power for your melee if you used um, your range units in that melee spot. Okay, we got Lucian, we got Shiwa. This is a fun card as well. Sometimes I like to use this early on. Uh, places this on your opponent and get yourself two more cards. Sometimes having those additional cards at the very end of the game works out really well. Um, again, Smokey, same thing, seven attack power. Uh, another one that you can go melee or ranged. Um, so I like to use that one as well. Um, what do you know? Julian, another one here. Melee arranged. You guys are seeing the, the what I'm talking about. Uh, melee arranged. You got the ability to go back and forth here. So it's really, really good. What do you know? So again, like I said, melee or ranged. Literally go either way on this one. Take note. This is strong for all of you guys out there. Yeah, they look. it looks really nice. Yeah, it really looks really nice. Now, I will say this. Constructive criticism. The cards, like the thickness... Is not there. I think the quality of like a, a regular TCG kind of game. Um, I think the cards are a little bit more firm, a little bit like like uh, less chance of bending. But I mean, it's still it's still pretty crispy for a game that just came out uh, recently here. So again, I'm not I'm not you know me. I'm not gonna lie to Comptos and say everything is perfect. Like these these cards are like if I shuffle these cards, I feel that I might bend them. You know what I mean? I need to put them in a sleeve as soon as possible. Um. Here's another one here, similar to that five attack power one that we saw. Put it on the opponent's team, draw two cards. It's a nice little strategy if you're one of those people out there that are looking to get the cards here. This is what I was talking about for Nikki. Uh, Nikki's one of the units out there in the game that allows you to get that double attack power up for Lycana in the range. Uh, this is a must use card for those of you guys that are playing in the game right now. Um, this, alongside her leader skill, gives you two opportunities to go double attack power in two out of the three rounds, and as you guys know, you have to go best two out of three rounds to win. So very, very important. Um, let's see here. So, and then this is this is a must, a must have for any deck. This is a must have for any deck. This is that second card I was talking about. Attack power up in any of the battlefields you want. So this is the one that I generally use with Lycana for the melee uh, deck if I don't have Colleen, if I don't draw Colleen, okay? Let's see here. We got cleansing, of course. Uh, Geralt, Siri, Triss, Jennifer. All four. All four here. There you go. All four of these cannot be revived or destroyed. Um, as you guys may have seen in my recent video, um, I underestimated the power of these especially with the AI and being able to have destroy cards in their arsenal. Sometimes they'll use the destroy cards and can't do nothing about it because they they waste it on, um, you know, first picks that you would do. Um, let's see here, Ragdoll. Always a fun unit here. Super cool, super cool, like, image there. I'm sorry for the, for the uh, glaring. It's not super clear. This camera is trash. But attack power, attack power and career for the monsters. Um... Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah. Very nice card for the range slot here. Han, of course, shouts out to Noverse one time. Being able to destroy the highest attack power in the same battlefield on range. Very strong card. Once you get it, you will use it. Destroy cards drastically change the outcome of the game. So you really can't, really can't not use it. You have to use it here. Um, very strong card as well. Hathor, I think this is a universal card for all three elements or all three things. But Hathor, removing the attack power up when someone tries to take the advantage on you. They're going for the win. Really good card to use. You got to save that one for the very end. Another Discourage Hard Fiend. This one's a must keep in your lineup here. Anytime you have it, whether it's Duran, like Connor Arena. That's a destroy card for the melee. Um, Griffin. Another one that's not super high on the combat power, but you have to include it because it is a destroy card. Destroy cards are always in a deck no matter what. Can't go wrong with them. You got to use them. Speaking of destroy, we got Leshen. Leshen's the one that can destroy the one in the support. This is a fun one that I actually played in the Duran deck. Uh, utilizing a unit like this, getting destroyed, they kill it too, but I would use a revive unit that would bring it back and then ultimately allow me to destroy somebody else once again. Really, really cool. So after that, we get all the different leader skills. 
that are going to go into the play here. So I don't know if you guys have seen all these. Um, initially, um, I was all about the uh, attack power up for the range battlefield, being able to take a look at it. Tactically, I haven't seen the value of it looking at random cards, unless I want to you know, figure out something they game. I think that would be something to utilize versus player versus player. Um, this one here, they have a destroy card for the melee battlefield. It's nice to have this here, but I haven't seen any reason to take it take it over like a leader skill per se for the attack power up here. They have one for the support cards, but this one here um, is nice as well. Superb tactic, being able to draw a card from your hand. Um, there is another leader out there that has the ability to draw a specific card. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I wish I wish we had that one for the kind of, but considering everything she has in her regular cards here, um, I'm okay with that. But yeah, guys, um, super cool. Um, again, shout out to Comdos for allowing me to showcase to you guys this, showcase to this community. Um, again, if you guys haven't really checked this out here in the game, obviously I'm hoping that you do, because as you guys can see, there's tons of rewards here to collect once you do it every single week. But more importantly, it's just nice to mix it up, have some fun. It's something refreshing, something new. Um, but let's not get it twisted. Um, it is in this, uh, ele you know, elementary stage. Um, there obviously is a lot of things that we would like to see done as far as the improvement of the AI, uh, the ability to play with other players. So there, there's definitely potential in this. So I'm hoping that um, they can include us. I do love mini games in a lot of the games that I play. So like I said, I'm happy to do this, not just for you in a random video, but maybe down the road, uh, live on stream with you guys. If you want to play, like, like I said, on stream, uh, mix it up here. So, but uh, yeah. Again, if you guys are watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Shout out to Comzos one more time for allowing me to have this. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Take care.